So let's work a couple problems from chapter 5 now. The first problem here on the top, so I've divided this into two problems, kind of short, so I thought I would just share it on one page. So for now, just ignore the bottom. For the top problem, we have a cylinder full of saturated water vapor, basically a saturated vapor, and the pressure at this in this uh, piston cylinder is 300 kilopascals. If we heat it, we know the temperature will increase, and that temperature increase goes up to 200 degrees Celsius, and what we're asked to do is find the work done. So just like we talked about uh, during the lectures, we define boundary work as the work, the sum of the work, or the integral of the work for between one and two, um, and that's the force times the distance, right? And we showed how this is force times distance, so pressure PdV, okay? Now in this particular case, our pressure is constant, so we can take that out of the integral, so this would be pressure is just a constant value, this would be from 1 to 2 of dV, and if we sum up all the little dV's we would have P times V2 minus V1. Well if I want to use the back of the book to solve this problem I'm going to have to use specific volume, and specific volume is just volume per unit mass. So let me draw this as a small v. Oops. All right. All right, so we know in this equation we know pressure. We uh, know the mass. So let's say this is uh, 5 kilograms. So we know the mass and the specific volumes we don't know at the two states. So let's determine what the specific volumes are for this mixture. So for the first condition we have a pressure of 300 kilopascals and we know it's a saturated water vapor. So let's look at that. Let's look at our tables here and let me make sure I have this uh, big enough so you guys can see. So let's go to our water tables, okay? So saturated water. Um, and let's go to um, a pressure of 300 kilopascals. So at a pressure of 300 kilopascals, which is not here, Actually, we could actually use the uh, saturated temperature, pressure, it doesn't matter. We can use this one. Uh, so a saturated pressure of 300 kilopascals. We know that the temperature inside of the chamber at this condition is 133.52, but that doesn't really help us. What we want is the specific volume at state 1. So we can take this specific volume at state 1 here. We know it's a saturated vapor. Okay, so I'm on table A5, saturated water pressure table. We have a saturated vapor, so Vg. And for a, at a pressure of 300 kilopascals, our saturated, or Vg, saturated vapor, uh, uh, specific volume is um, 0.6. 0, 0582. Okay, so it's this one right here. All right, so that was pretty easy. We know it's a, the saturated vapor. Now, what about at state two? So let's refresh our memory here of what we're talking about for state two. So here's what the here's the new uh, information I added. Well, I had the page swapped, so we add. We know that the specific volume is this. 
Now let me add uh, some information over here. So we know the temperature is 200 degrees Celsius and the pressure is 300 kilopascals. All right, so let's go here. So 300, pressure stayed the same and we know that anything above this temperature, it would be a superheated vapor. So think back to your our temperature pressure volume diagram, temperature volume diagrams, things like that. Well, um, I'm not going to go through that anymore. I'm going to assume that you know how to do that. I'm going to go straight to the superheated water tables. And I'm going to look at 300 kilopascals, which is 0.3 megapascals here. And our temperature is here 200 degrees Celsius. So we can look at here Let's make sure we're in the right column. It's the first one here. So in the first column, 200 degrees Celsius. Okay. Our v vapor or specific volume here is 0 0.71643. And this is meters cubed per kilogram. Okay, let me go back to our sheet here. So here's the new information I added uh, just now. All right. So now we know our um, specific volumes. So we know the pressure is the same. So let me go ahead and write that 300,000 times um, the mass of this, which is 5 kilograms, times the difference of the specific volumes here. So the specific volumes are 0 0.71643 minus 0 0.60582. All right. So if we calculate all of this, comes out to be 165,915. And I'm going to let you guys work out the units. At this point in the class, I hope you guys are more proficient at units. I don't need to show you that ever, at least every step. I probably will again here in the next problem or two. Uh, or that we can rewrite this as 165.9 kilojoules. So that's how much work is done as this piston expands due to this temperature uh, increase uh, inside of it. So let's do now, let's go to the bottom here and let's work out a uh, polytropic process problem. So these are a little bit different than the, our one that we just worked out where we were talking about a um, this boundary work. Let's work a polytropic process problem. So in this problem we have carbon dioxide, in this case is compressed, and the pressure inside of this chamber follows the relationship P is equal to a constant times V to the minus N. The constant here is equal to 8 kilopascals times meters to the sixth, and we know our exponent here in this case is 2. The question here is to find the work done. So find work done. Well, to do that, we're going to use our same boundary work equation. So integration of PDV. Except now, PDV is a little bit different. We have a... Uh, relationship for P. So P here is going to be C times V to the minus N dV. Or we can write this as C over and we know uh, we can write this as C over V to the minus 2 dV. Or I'll just write it C to the V to the minus 2. Either way we're all doing the same thing here. And these are all integrated between one and points one and two. 
Okay, so constant just comes out of the integral. And v to the minus 2, going back and remembering from your calculus class what some variable to the minus 2 is, and we integrate that uh, variable with respect to itself, we would have c times v to the minus 1, and all of this would be negative. And remember, this is a definite integral, so we integrated it between 0, I mean between 1 and 2. So another way of writing this is minus c times 1 over v2 minus 1 over v1. Plugging in our values here, we have minus 8 times 1 over 0 0.1 minus 1 over 0 0.3. Oh, it would help if I told you guys, I think, too, what the volumes are here. Uh, I don't think I told you that. So assume that the initial volume is 0 0.3. And we can plug in any value, really. I mean, uh, but I, uh, I'll use these. Okay. <clears throat> so our initial volume is 0.3, and our final volume is 0.1 meters cubed. So carrying out this, uh, we can come up with the answer of minus 53.3 kilojoules. Okay. So that's a polytropic process problem. We also worked the typical boundary work problem. I've done some also in the past. If you want to check out the other lectures or work some of those problems out, you can. Uh, but I mean, that, this is kind of the, along the lines of what we'll be doing. We may practice a few more during the class uh, for you guys to get some more uh, experience in these type of problems, but I think you get the general idea. Now, what I would like to do for the next set of problems is I'd like to look at some specific heat, uh, specific heat calculations and using the specific heat and ideal gas equations um, for to calculate work heat transfer again and see see how we can uh, apply some of these in other situations